Hey guys, Dan here. Um, and it's just, I, my, my job never rests, okay? Um, I was gonna take a nice day off, go to Starbucks, you know, maybe make fun of some Republicans, you know, assault some Trump supporters, but something's come to my attention. It's a national shot caller for the Jezebels. I did time, California prison, you know. Um, everyone has seen the interview. This is the interview right here. I'm gonna be showing y'all some clips. Um, Michael Thompson, who is a snitch, who is a rat, he's the 1090 Jake, okay, of the 80s. He's a snitch. So basically, I'm going to show you, let me just show you a few clips, and I'm going to give you the inside scoop, because he came to the Jezebels first. He had some problem with some black gorilla family um, on the yard. Um, I guess he was caught sniffing their underpants, and they, like, called him out on the yard. They had bangers and... Um, like they were gonna poke him up, okay. Um, and he's a very fearful man. He he doesn't like to get in fist fights. He's scared of knives. He's cooperated with law enforcement from his first day in prison, okay. And I have no problem with the Aryan Brotherhood, but he said a lot of lies about the Aryan Brotherhood. The, um, it's the Jezebels. Um, there's only one other prison gang I respect, and it's the AB. What, Justin? No, we we're going to the ABC store later, okay. I was talking about the AB. The brand, Justin, the brand. No, they're not as tough as the Jezebels. Okay, so I'm going to show you a little clip, and then we're going to get into the nasties of Michael Thompson. Snitch, you're a snitch. Okay, Jezebels know where you stay. Uh -huh. Oh, scared? You should be. And I'm raising my voice, so you know it's serious. Let's start with this. Okay, this is real cute, first of all. These two, Damage Done podcast for you. those two guys right there have Down syndrome, and they started a podcast. Um, and they interviewed Michael Thompson, so I'm gonna show you a few clips. I look good today. War, even during war, and wars are popping off all over the place. Okay, war is my middle name, right, Justin? Justin, stop. You don't want to know he was what he was doing with remote control. So let's look at the Down syndrome people. Heroin addicts. Stories about joy See? And murder Which is fine. I love it. They have a podcast, but I'm going to show you guys Michael Thompson. Here we go. First of all, he looks like a middle-aged woman. Ugh. That's him. That's the snitch. Snitch. Ooh, let me get a snitch. Just listen to his lies. Listen to his lies. Spit it out, Grandpa. He wipes his butt with that scar. It's disgusting. Take a drink of water, you're smacking, old man. Snitch. I've been back about 90 days. No, you have it, liar. He was complaining to me one day that. Listen. He was concerned. Fair usage. Fair usage. Going to kidnap the children of a rival cartel member. Okay, first of all, that's a lie. Michael Thompson, Thomas Thompson, I think his name is. He's also related to 1090 Jake's family, Josh, Lockdown, 23-1. Um, so they're going to probably cover for him. But let me tell you, explain something to you. I remember when, this was like before, because I'm only 39 years old, okay? So this was before I was in prison, but I heard a story from a shot caller of a gang called the Booty Bandits, um, which was, it was kind of like the lead up to, a little backstory, um, the Jezebels, we got our, made our bones and our bloods from poking people up. We poked people up in the shower. We, po we poked them up all over the place. I mean, people are getting poked up on a regular basis. Okay? So, before I was in that prison, they said that Michael Thompson came. And he always brags that he knew Barry Mills, the Baron, all these. And these men are solid convicts. Much respect for them. I want no problem with A.B., but Michael Thompson's a liar. He never knew them. He tried to go to them for protection. They said, listen here, sir. You need to take your little self over there. Because he was dating a member, I think, of the Black Gorilla family at the time. Um, and they had a falling out. It's like, okay. So they, there was like a garden. Because back then, it, I think it was, um, what was that? San Quentin? No, um, oh, what was the name of that prison? Justin, what was that place called? No, the prison, the violent one. Justin's, he's sleeping, took to me Xanax. Okay, I think it was Marion Prison. Yes, it was Marion, okay? And at that time when Michael Thompson came on the scene, he wanted to bring people together, like unity, 
um, and everything like that. He wanted everyone to convert to be Native American, okay? First of all, he's not even Native American, but he was trying to force people to, he wanted to start this gang called the American um, Native American Bandits. And people are like, that's really stupid sounding. It's also racist, okay? It was also racist. So he wanted to start this gang. So he got it. He, he broke up with the leader of the Black Gorilla family. Bangers came out. There was some heavy stuff. And so basically, that he was put in the hole. Now, he was in the hole snitching this whole time. So I come on the scene with the violent Jezebels. We were kicking butt, taking names. People were poked up. Guards were getting poked up. There was bangers. It was, there was like, I was holding it down for my dogs. I'm sorry, very emotional. I lost a lot of good gay men in these wars, okay? A lot. And by the way, if you, the people doing this podcast, if you want to have me on to clear the air, be, you can have me. I will come on and I will do an interview, okay? I will do this on your podcast. But anyway, so Michael Thompson was, uh, came to me because he knew his new violent Jezebel gangs. And we were, at first we refused, okay? Because we knew he was a snitch. But he was like, hey, you know, I, um, you know, I can get us out of here. I, you know, the cops are on my side. And everything he says is a lie. He uses real people's names. Like, oh, this guard shot me, this and that. No, he and that guard had a real quick fling. Um, then it broke up because the Catholic Church was offended. And that's when they brought in communications. And there was, oh, it gets, I don't want to get into gang politics. I'm not going to get into the politics of it, okay? Just know that Michael Thompson is a snitch. And he's going to get, he, you know, things happen. I, hey, things happen. Just watch. I love. I think it's so cool that Down Syndrome kids have a podcast. So cool. So cool. I love it. So open-minded. Okay, sir. What you're saying is they treat you like a human being. Yeah, I said way more words than that, but it's exactly what they. The guy right there. Um. And that's what is that issue. Scary. Today, as we talk about. Shut up, Michael Thompson. Shut up. You look like an old. You look like you like look like Nancy Pelosi with a beard. That's Nancy Pelosi with a beard. I can't take it anymore. Just know this: when the wars wars start popping off and the Jezebel start taking bodies, we start taking more bodies than Hurricane Katrina did. Okay, there's gonna be more bodies dropping real soon. So, I just want to let you know: anyone that associates with Michael Thompson, you will be greenlit too, and that includes former Jezebels. Resist.